Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I'm Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Colorado, we're going to need to have a conversation. You know, I've done a couple of videos and I've been telling all of you folks, hey, you better stock up. You better stock up right now. Why is that? Well, your state seems to be very precariously poised to go over a great tipping point from really not a lot of gun regulations to complete and total civilian disarmament. You are about to Californiaize the state of Colorado. Don't believe me? I'm going to give you a bunch of examples of where you're going. And you probably should listen to me because I'm here in the People's Republic of Washington where it's already happened. And let me tell you, it's not good. So today, let's spend a few minutes. Let's try to get you all invested in this and let's talk about how come no one is freaking out in Colorado yet? You watch the news, you read the headlines, and you know it for yourself. Your community is less safe than it was just a few years ago. So you decided to purchase your first firearm. But like everything else in your life, you wanted to do this lawfully and responsibly. So you trained, and trained, and trained. You learned the laws of self-defense and all the tactics necessary to protect yourself and your family. To this day, you continue to train and you now live by the motto that it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. You are prepared for anything, or so you thought. Who are you gonna call when it all hits the fan? Who's gonna defend you for defending them? Who's gonna stand in your corner when you realize that proof beyond a reasonable doubt means one thing in a high school civics class and something altogether different in the real world? Introducing Right to Bear, self-defense coverage that protects you so that you can protect them. With an attorney answered hotline, you will always get a confidential conversation with your state's attorney. There are no cap limits for either criminal or civil defense. All forms of self-defense are covered, so from a fist to a firearm, you are protected. And you will have some of the nation's most passionate 2A attorneys defending you. And the peace of mind that you will have knowing that right to bear is in your corner, well, that's priceless. Listen, I've been in this industry long enough to know two things with absolute certainty. Good lawyers aren't cheap, and cheap lawyers aren't good. So visit my friends today at protectwithbear.com, and if you use the promo code WGL, you will receive 10% off. Listen, you need to protect yourself so that you can protect them. Visit my good friends at protectwithbear.com. Okay, Colorado, we're going to have a talk today, and we're going to have a talk today about the Californication of what is going on around the country. Now, uh, if you're new to this phenomenon, basically when it comes to crazy laws, especially crazy civilian disarmament legislation, where all the genesis of craziness is, is the state of California. That's why we very carefully watch what happens down there on this channel. The reason you need to be aware of that is because it's only a matter of time before it will end up in your state. Case in point, what's going on in Colorado this year? Now, Colorado, you have managed to avoid a bunch of crazy civilian disarmament legislation now for a number of years. Oh yeah, you've chipped away here, chipped away there. But this year, you stand on the precipice of a complete onslaught of civilian disarmament legislation, one that would absolutely significantly and forever fundamentally change the otherwise inalienable rights of Colorado citizens. And shockingly, despite the fact that there's a handful of people in Colorado screaming bloody murder, and we've tried to do uh, some videos on it, there does not seem to be a ton of national attention. But let me explain to everyone around the country what's gonna happen in Colorado. And if you don't, if you let it happen in Colorado, it's just a matter of time before it's coming to your state, which is this complete onslaught. What I'm talking about is there is a wish list. There is a wish list that everybody on the left who wants to disarm lawful responsible citizens has. And that wish list includes the following. Assault weapon bans, high capacity magazine bans, ammunition taxes, mandatory storage provisions, new gun-free zones, state permits required to purchase firearms, new state permitting for FFLs, and that's just the short laundry list. And guess what, Colorado? Yeah, right now you have a bill kicking around in your state legislature that would accomplish every single one of these goals. That's right, there is a piece of legislation kicking around now in your state capital 
that would accomplish every single one of these goals. And so the time is now for you all to start being active because here's the thing. Uh, they're going to sell this to the naive voter that this is a way to save lives. But take it again from somebody right here in the People's Republic of Washington, because everything that you're about to pass, we have already passed here. Everything that you're about to pass has actually been passed really in the last few years. And then knowing that we've passed all of these gun laws that we're going to be saving lives, ask yourself this question. Why then does Washington State's homicide numbers look like this? Does it have anything to do with we just need a couple of more gun laws to make sure we got the right cocktail of it? Or does it have something instead to do with the number of police officers on our street looking something like this? And so the bottom line, Colorado, is you need to understand that these laws will not make your community safer. These laws will not make you safer. These laws will only embolden criminals and make your communities much more dangerous. The time to fight is right now. You don't have a lot of time left. Get on the horn, get involved, call your state legislator. If you don't know who they are, hey, we put a link down below in the description box so you can find them. Hey, we put a link down below for some of the other fantastic organizations out there that are fighting like crazy to keep your inalienable rights. Let's get some skin in the game. Let's get going here. You don't have another chance if you don't do it right this year. Listen, if you guys got any other questions about this or anything else, you know how to get a hold of Washington gun law. If you don't, that's okay. That information's down there in the description box. And then finally, let's everyone remember that part of being a lawful and responsible gun owner, like we talk about all the time here, is to know what the law is in every situation and how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. Until next time, keep fighting, Colorado. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.